back to another video today so I am pretty excited today I just stuck like two dozen mullet pretty much in the dark which was super awesome that that usually doesn't happen a lot of times mullet are, are difficult to get but today it was first cast um, though there was bioluminescence like everywhere it was super crazy so those mullets stuck out in the dark but we're gonna be throwing circle hook today live mullet which I got behind me of course and uh, we're gonna be looking for tarpon still working with the uh, Florida fishing products Osprey carbon edition right here still doing a little test run with it see how it is and uh we're using the uh, seven foot jm edition rod which you guys can grab in the description if you guys forgot about that this rod goes for 149 you guys can buy the exact same rod they will build it custom exactly just like this for you and uh yeah we're gonna throw this around hopefully we're gonna find some tarpon on the flats today and hopefully it'll be an exciting day so enjoy the video guys and uh let's let's, let's get started so we're gonna grab one of our mullet here these guys we got a bunch of like six, seven inches. These are absolutely perfect for tarpon. We got a 7-0 circle hook um, and right through the nose just like that. Let's uh, let's find a rolling tarpon to throw at. I think I just, oh, I'm just so excited. I just saw like three or four rolling right in front of me. One just, it looked like it blasted like a glassman or something, but this should be super exciting. I see them far right, far left. There's a lot of them out here. This is by far my favorite thing to do is tarpon and uh, live mullet. So we're gonna have a, should have a good day here. I see a pod rolling out to my left. Chase it down. This water has a very interesting color. It's not clear, it's like a bright green, which is interesting. Oh, look at that slow roll right there. Ooh, they're hitting little glass windows right here. I'm gonna launch a mullet in there. Hopefully it'll grab it. Yeah, it looks like they're hitting glass minnows. Oh, he got eaten. He definitely got eaten. Or he's freaking out. Oh, he's about to get eaten. Maybe now he just got eaten? I got something. Oh, it's a tarpon. <clears throat> That was the calmest eat ever. <laughs> wow, that was really calm. No, no blow up or anything. Maybe it's a redfish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Like clockwork, they're right where I thought they would be at the right time of year. <sighs> that was awesome. I was, I was expecting a big blow up, but no blow up. Just a slightly or very calm meat under the surface. It's not a jumper, which is interesting. All right, Let's try to get a face grab here. tarpon blowing up right there all right we're gonna go ahead and unhook this guy circle hook perfect spot best spot you could ask for on a tarpon but beautiful fish probably i don't know 10 pounds maybe 10 to 15 somewhere in there probably 10 on the dot but awesome tarpon it's good to get them first thing in the morning there she goes they're rolling all around me not seeing any giants, but I'm sure the giants will show up. Like the 30, 40 pounders, I'm seeing a lot of 10, 15s. 
like that right there. All these little pops around me are just, just small tarpon blasting glass minnows. Oh, I got eaten. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. <laughs> Little guy. I'm surprised this guy could even eat a mullet this big. The mullet he ate was like a third of the size of his body. Oh. Nice. Oh, should have bowed a little bit more, but he shook it off. Oh, they're blowing up right in front of me. It's a perfect size mullet right there. A little four incher. Watch this. Oh, get on the surface. <laughs> oh, did you get him? Oh, they're popping him. Look at that. That's awesome. That's so cool. Still haven't gotten him. Oh, he got him that time. <laughs> He's gonna try to go to the motor. It's a better one. Maybe about the size of the first fish. Man, there, there is an absolute ton today. Woo! Another good hook set right in the top of the mouth. There we go. Alrighty guys, tarpon number uh, two of the day landed. They're killing the mullet and there's an absolute ton of them out here so we're just gonna keep, keep on going. Ooh, I heard that. Drop the mullet right by him. That does sound like some decent ones up there blowing up. There's one right in front of me. You ever just throw your mullet off and feel like an idiot? All right, let's try that again. There's one to my left. Oh, he just got smashed. He did, he did, he did. Oh my God. Oh, oh my god, why are they not eating him on the surface? What the heck? He ate him and swam 50 feet in like 3 seconds. I was so confused because I hadn't seen a blow up or anything. Or even anything. I just see my mullet just take off. <laughs> He just got eaten. Oh, yeah. There he is. Is this even a tarpon? Yeah, he's tiny. <laughs> Man, that's a tiny tarpon. Running right at the boat. <laughs> I have never seen a tarpon give up this quickly. What is this? No jumps. Yep. Come here, bud. 
Oh man, he's hooked in the bottom of the lip too. Just like the worst. See that bottom of the lip hook set there? It's a bad spot because that's right where you need to put your hands, but carbon number three. Probably only three, four pounds, little guy. We're gonna have to move and find some bigger ones here, but shoot him off. There he goes. Whew. Third one of the day, doing good so far. All right, we got a fresh mo There's a tarp right in front of me. Got a fresh mullet on. The mullet die incredible. Oh, it's a pretty big tarpon that just rolled out there. The mullet die incredibly quick once they hit the water, so I gotta put the mullet right in front of a tarpon to get an eat here. There's a really nice school of tarpon right here, so. The mullet are literally dying the second they hit the water. I don't know why. I guess there's like no oxygen in the water, so the tarpon are fine, but the mullet die. Ooh, I just got eaten. Did you get him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically a dead mullet. That was cool. I felt a thump and then nothing, so I twitched it a couple times and then saw a huge wake just fly across the uh, where my line was. Tarpon in a foot of water. Best thing in the world. Better fish. Fish number uh, four of the day, maybe. I think it's four, but decent one. Probably the best, biggest one of the day right here. Probably seven, eight pounds. But these guys are absolutely awesome to catch on the flats with the uh, live mullet. So I think, I think I actually just used my last live mullet there. I think I'm gonna switch over to a lure. Um, I'm gonna throw that no live bait needed little mullet, and uh, let's release this guy. Not giving up. Interesting hook set, like kind of on the outside of the mouth there. All right, you're free, bud. There he goes. All right, so what I was saying is I'm gonna throw this guy right here. See if that'll focus. Maybe it's in focus, yeah. That is a uh, no live bait needed low mullet. I'm gonna throw this on the uh, on the smaller rod and throw out these rolling tarpon because for whatever reason, the mullet just, they just die like the second they hit the water and can't explain it, but yeah, we'll just keep going. That was cool.
All right. Well, we got our one fish of the day on our no live bait needed, which is pretty cool. It's a super cool looking fluke. I'm gonna try to use it more often. They're super popular baits right now, so. There he is, this might be the last fish of the day. Probably a, uh, I don't know, 16 inch snook on a five inch bait. <laughs> third the size of his body but oof, has no trouble eating it all right back in the water you go buddy Alrighty, guys well that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed that we had what do we have like four or five tarpon one snook and uh we didn't actually we didn't lose any of the tarpon really maybe i lost like two or three but we had a pretty good uh hookup ratio today we didn't we did solid so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did enjoy it be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you guys are new to the channel um well hit the subscribe button and if you guys want to check out the rods that i used today or the I, I think i only used the light uh jm edition calusa rod be sure to check that out there's a link in the description where you guys can uh head over to the website if you guys are looking for a new rod it is a great rod and i highly recommend it so i will uh i'll see you guys in the next video guys see ya